musical instruments, music production, music videography, and photography. Okay, and guess what? Today we are starting with the saxophone. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm gonna learn new things today. Hmm. Over to you, Mozart. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us today in our tutorial Tuesday. Like we had, I'm Mozart, your teacher. Um, before I start, I want to tell you one of the some of the things you need to get in place to be able to maximize the time that we're taking out every Tuesday. Um, first thing first, if you want to be a great saxophonist and you're serious about it, first thing you have to get a saxophone. Mm -hmm. Either you buy one or you borrow one. I mean, the most important thing is that if you have an unrestricted access to a saxophone. Now, after that is done, then you're ready for us. Number two, you have to be able to set out time per week, every week that you're going to be rehearsing, at least six hours. You need to get like six hours weekly where you're going to be rehearsing everything that we have in this class. Number three, you have to be able to what? To subscribe to this channel. The reason you must subscribe is because we not going to, we may not have all the time to start publicizing it and trying to get to you, to get to that phone that you're holding. You may not even know that classes are holding. So, but if you subscribe and you click the, the, the bell by the side of that subscribe button, you'll be able to be, you'll be notified of the next class so that you don't miss out. Of course, it's going to be every Tuesday, but there are going to be surprise classes going on. So just subscribe. And then the next thing is that you must be able to leave comments mm -hmm. below. The reason you must leave comments is because some of you are going to ask questions that I'm going to treat in the next class. Yeah. Some of you from this class, you may not be able to, I, I, I'm not hearing your questions because this is an online class. So when you leave a comment below, mm -hmm. I will be able to, if I go through those comments, I might be able to connect to you directly or bring such questions and answer it in the next class. The next thing you can help us do is to share this video so that those guys that are out there looking for this kind of opportunity will see what we are doing here. So let's jump into it. Yeah. So the first thing today I want to show you the syllabus. Some people when we hear that we want to teach uh, saxophone, some people just look at it as, ah, what is it? There are a lot of you guys there that think you play saxophone that there are just a lot of things that you just need to learn. And then if you don't have a tutor, you get yourself confused. Sometimes you get discouraged because you kept, you, you find yourself keep rehearsing one thing, one thing over, all over and over. You're not just growing. This is an opportunity for you. Number one, we're going to be talking about the history the, of the of the saxophone. The, we're going to teach you about the family, the sax family, the types of saxophone that you have, and the parts of the saxophone, the key of the saxophone. That forms the major part of this particular class. But as we go on, we talk about the saxophone fingering chart. We talk about the alternate fingering chart. We talk about the sax and brocure. I think how to how to position your mouth very well in the saxophone. And then we talk about the posture. A lot of people think that play saxophone, you just that they are sitting posture, they are standing posture. You need to know all of this. I'm going to teach you how to have a good tone. A good tone is what makes up a saxophone. Yeah. It's not about. It's, it doesn't matter how inexpensive your sax is or the make. If you have, if you learn how to make a good sound, any sax will give you a professional sound. And then we'll talk about the fingering exercise. We're also going to talk about um, some of the, we're going to teach you in solfang notation, uh, staff notation. We're going to teach you diatonic scale and every other scale that will help you to be a good jazz improviser. Now the next point is I'm going to teach you the saxophone key register. And now, saxophone, a lot of people, they know the low register, they know the middle register, they know the high register. I'm going to teach you the autismo register, how to flow from one of these, from, the, from one register to another in one particular scale, having a smooth flow mm. of all the ideas that will be coming. Yeah. Now, the next thing is you're going to be talking about how to make melodies. Oh my God. As in, in songs, how to play a song, how to... 
how to play a song of your choice, how to compose songs and blow the song. I feel you are just one of those professional singers out there. The saxophone can do everything that a voice, a human voice can do. So every you see a singer sing and say, wow, this is so melodious. The saxophone can produce any sound that you can imagine in this world. So we're going to teach you that. Then thereafter, if you go in this class, we'll start teaching you the saxophone techniques. That is where a lot of you are going to have to really join. That is where those guys are things they play. That's where they have to really join this class. Now that's where we'll teach you how to tongue, tongue in techniques. And then we'll teach you long tone. We we'll teach you vibrato, we we'll teach you slurring, we we'll teach you even grave notes. Those things that those professional guys do, I will teach you right here. And then um, I'm also going to teach you growling. Mm. You hear those kind of sound, yeah, ha! you know, the sax just shouting as if it's one hockey, hockey instrument. So that is a growling technique. I will teach you everything. Of course, I talk about the overtone. Mm. The overtone is what will take us into the autismo register. And then. Lastly, in our techniques, we're going to teach you the circular breathing. Wow. Where you see someone just producing a note and she's just going for as long as the guy can go, and then you just keep hearing, and then the whole crowd is shouting, Whoo, yeah, 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 and everybody's looking at the guy as if he's one of these, you know, one of these guys that jumped down from the sky. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's a technique, you can learn it. Even your, your audience get tired of you. When you if you are not tired, you keep, you keep going. Like remember the last one, I was just doing it, and the whole church was shouting, "Ooh, this guy is too much!" I'm going to show you so that you you be too much as well. Now, after that, we go into what we call the jazz improvisation, wow. where I be, where I go in depth on what we call the skills, scalar improvisation, modal improvisation, chordal improvisation, mm -hmm. and then we teach you mode. Just some guys talking about mode, that some of you wonder. What is this mode all about? What is this mode they're talking about? It's going to be so simple, I'm going to break it down for you in this channel. Mm -hmm. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about is how you learn all of this and how do you articulate? Wow. How do you put everything that we have learned into playing as a musician? And then how do you stand out unique and you are not like me? I don't want any of you to be like me. So at the end of the day, we're going to show you how to articulate your own style, how to come up with your own style. And then we'll talk about jazz composition. Thank you. These are the 12, um, 12 syllables, 12 point syllables that we have. I hope that uh, 12 week will be enough for us to handle the saxophone. And um, thereafter, we move to other instruments. So if you're not learning saxophone, don't worry, just keep following. There are a lot of things I'm seeing here, even while teaching the saxophone, that you're going to apply in even the keyboard. So, well, let's jump into today's class. Today's class takes me to number one of our syllables, talking about the history. Of course, I'm not going to take your time in that history. I don't want to bore you with history. You can read that. Just go to the just go to Google and type history of the saxophone. You will hear the man that invented the sax. Who invented the sax? Adolfo Sax. You know Adolfo Sax was the man that invented the, the oh sax. Oh my God! I'm just hearing that for the first time. Yes, Adolfo Sax. Now then, then we we'll talk about the sax family. That takes us to parts of the sax. I don't have all types of sax here, but the one I have, I'm going to show you. The one I'm holding here is the soprano sax. Mm. The soprano sax is this long one that is just. You know, just straight like that, and then mix some kind of a soprano voice. Ooh, like, you know, if she sing, you know that she has a soprano voice. So you see something like, I'm going to be playing on Kisi. That's soprano sax, that's how it sounds. Soprano sax is um, it's a very sweet saxophone. I think one of these um, guy, you know of Kenny G, those of you that want to go, he told the this yeah. sax. I want you to really follow this guy called the Kenny G. I want the guy is is, is unique about the he's unique when it comes to this instrument. Now that is soprano sax is a B flat instrument. I will explain what it means by a B flat instrument. This is the okay. Followed by that, you have the alto saxophone. This one you only see it everywhere because it's good for. It's, it just have this medium sound and it's so good. So most of you that are going to be learning, I prefer you start with this. I prefer you start with this, but you can actually start with any of these. I started with, I think, okay, I started with this, but I have students that started with sax, with the tenor sax, with the soprano sax, and then they are doing great. You can always migrate to any of them once you know one. That's the good news about the saxophone. So this is the auto sax, and then it's not going to sound on the same key, that's 
That's the auto saxophone, sweet sound. You know? The auto saxophone. I will have asked her if I sax to actually blow this auto saxophone, but she told yeah. do a lot of things for all that the one she plays. Very wonderful. Some of you ladies there, you think you cannot play the saxophone. I will advise you to join this class. Verasa is going to be, you know, inspiring most of you. And then you're going to jump out of that lazy bed and you find yourself doing the impossible. Yes, here is the tennis axe. This one I said is for men. Okay. It's for men, you know. Ah, not really men. It's not for boys. You mm. know, you really have to get serious. So those of you that are going to go into the auto saxophone as a core of your of your jazz uh, improvisation, I want you to look at there are a lot of them there. Dave Coase is there. You have um, Gerard Albright. Wow, those guys, man, they've taken this sax to the next to a different level. So, and then we have the tenor saxophone. The tenor saxophone is one of my best. It's the one I love so much. No. <laughs> You know, he has such deep voice, making me feel like a man, you know. You know, this one sounds, you know, so, so tiny, you know. But I love this. Any of them is good. And then depending on the kind of genre you do, you discover that some, this one fits a kind of a blues mode. This one fits, you know, those of you that do African, African um, praise Great. a lot. I like using this for African praise. And then this one, you know, when it comes yes. to jazz night, you know, those those cool brew, uh, groove, you know, I, I just love this. And then worship, I actually love this. All of them can do everything, but some are just, just a matter of choice. Okay, so let's jump into the next part of our class, talking about the parts of the saxophone. The parts of the saxophone, Vanessa, can you show us the parts of the saxophone? The saxophone um, is made up of just, you know, it's a kind of a curved instrument uh, made up of different parts. Very simple to identify all the parts. I'm going to show you right here. This is the mouth or the head, the head of the saxophone having what we call the, the mouthpiece. And then I'll come back to that. We have the neck, yeah. we have the body of the saxophone. Mm -hmm. The body of the saxophone ends in what we call the bell of the saxophone that is this guy that amplifies the sound and then talking to, coming back to the head you have the mouthpiece the mouthpiece has the mouthpiece cap you know this is the cap if you are sliding this inside you have to be careful if not you break your reed but i'm going to show you how to take care of your saxophone and then um we now have the the reed the reed is just is right here if you can see this is the reed, this is the reed, the one you attach and then you screw it to this guy. This guy actually making the vibration and producing the sound. And then the mouthpiece is there. You have the ligature. The ligature is this guy here. I'm going to give you pictures um, that you will see and uh, you identify them very well. This is there are different types of ligature, different types of mouthpiece. This one here is iron mouthpiece. This one here, they are plastic mouthpiece. And then uh, please, Rasas, bring it. This is the plastic mouthpiece. This is the another type of ligature. This is the iron mouthpiece. This is its own kind of ligature. And then you put this, you just slide it in, something like this. You, you just slide it in and then you get a particular point. I'm going to show you how, how the, the depth you go with your mouthpiece affects the tone of your sax, you know, maybe in our next class. And then we'll talk about the, the neck connecting the mouthpiece to the body and then the body is made up of the keys the keys the ones you're actually pressing that's why i show me the keys that those are the keys the ones you're actually pressing are the keys and then you have the parts the part is the one that is the key is controlling the part some parts are far away from their key you know i press the key and then the part is is the one closing the length of the two divide Telling you the the telling the the, the the tube the sax is actually a tubal instrument, so the the control is telling you the length depending on the length of the saxophone, and it's going to be giving you different sound different sound. So 
the keys are just everywhere. One of the first things that scared me is sack. I remember the first time you were learning <laughs> sack five years ago, right? Yes. So you were you were asking me, you mean I'm going to be able to play this you pleasant thing? Plenty. You will do plenty. Don't worry, you're not actually pressing everything. You're just pressing just few things and then those few things are actually what? Controlling a lot of there are a lot of network that allow you to control. Of course, the white man knows that the western man knows that you have just five fingers, so they won't give you what you cannot play. So everything has been made to be comfortable for you to play. So that is the part of the saxophone. And then you have the, the, the I told you the part, the part, there are open parts. This is an open part. The open part is open at rest. And then the closed part is closed at rest. You have the guards. The guards are the ones protecting some of your vulnerable um, parts. And then you have the pillars, I call them the pillars connecting the what? Look at this key, come on, take a look at this key. This key, this is a key of the saxophone. Look at where his part is. And then this, the, as I'm pressing it, you notice, you see, something is connecting it and this guy is going out there. So that is the beauty of the saxophone. Okay, so um, let's quickly look at the, the keys of the saxophone. Yeah. Talking about the keys of the saxophone, I think that should, should that be a different class entirely because that will really mm. take my time. That's but really before I continue, I want to just so you have to take care of your saxophone. Yeah. Before you start learning the saxophone, yeah. if you are going to borrow the sax yes, from someone, mm -hmm. you might find yourself destroying the saxophone. That you, it's so difficult to repair the saxophone once it's broken or once mm -hmm. a part is mm -hmm. out of place. So, um, when you see before. What, First thing, first, take care of your reed. Mm. Not this thing must not be. This thing you see here is about um, two thousand or so. Calculate it in dollars. You know what I'm talking about. So this uh, this reed here is very fragile. So if I want to fix the reed, I have to be careful so that my ligature does not get does not get to you know break the chip. So you always cover it. When you are not playing for long, you need to just cover it with the with back and so that uh, it doesn't dry up. And then before you play, make sure it's wet. You can put it inside water. Make sure it's wet. If your reed is not wet, you will notice that the edges will not be straight. And then the guy will be having these, you know, serrated uh, edges. Such edges will not give you a good sound. So take care of your of your reed very well. And then. The, the, when you come to the body, the most important care of the saxophone, please do everything possible. Don't let the saxophone fall out of your hand. I remember when this had fell out of my hand, I was almost crying that day. But thank God, I, I had some broken uh, parts in this place. So till today, you see a problem. So please don't allow your sax to, to fall down. And then number three, when you are not playing your sax, it's either it's on the stand, it's either you put it on the stand, or, of course, if you, don't, you need to get a stand. You need to get a stand, the one that can take the soprano. Don't just carry your sax and just lie it somewhere. It will just get, you know, kicked by someone or something. But if you have a stand, the good thing about the stand is that you, you always have your sax in your room looking at you. So you can always pick it and then you just play it. Sometimes your sax will be telling you, please, rehab me, please, rehab me, please. But if it's in the box, the guy will be shouting, you will not be hearing, rehab me, please. You will not be here. So don't cover your sax. Buy this. It's just about, you know, it's not cost. Just uh, get it so you can always put your sax. When you are not playing, you just kind of put your sax there. The guy is there. And then make sure you buy the one that size your sax. Sometimes the guy will just sleep. But a good, a good stand. Is sure, but of course, if you don't have a stand, don't just leave your sacks lying down anyhow. So you just pack it and put it in the box. I don't have any box here. So then the most important another thing is sacks used to have a problem. A lot of sacks, you notice that after a while, this guy start dancing, you are blowing, the guy is going the other way, you are blowing, the guy is moving the other way because it's not tight, and then you are struggling, you know. So please, before you put before you remove this, make sure you unscrew and then don't just remove and you are forcing that. Like, so just be sliding it like this, this way. You go this way until you are out. Sometimes before you put it, 
you need to make sure that there is um, some lot of lubrication oil you know in the absence of none you know you always have a way to improvise you have, you know it's your sacks it's your it's your friend so you just put you know you just slide it in and like that then before you tie make sure you are ready you know you set it and then you tie if not you keep forcing it over time this guy will be misbehaving while you're playing so that is uh, that about the care of the sacks um let me quickly uh, next week we are going to be looking at the keys of the saxophone talking about the keys of the saxophone we'll be talking about the fingering chart i'm going to bring a chart for you you look at the and then alternate fingering exercise and then making your first sound some of you are going to make your first sound so make sure in the next week you're coming get your sacks ready on tuesday by 5 p.m nigerian time and then you you just follow so while we are here we are demonstrating you are also playing so thank you i want you to continue to um to to expect good things from us expect to be a professional just following this channel and then don't forget to subscribe before i go Vela Sax, you have anything to tell them that um, that we encourage some of them that are going to be learned. They believe that the saxophone is so difficult to play. Wow. What do you have for them? How do you okay? I want, you must play something so that and then you begin to advise them, telling them no, the saxophone is so simple. If you can do it, I don't think you can do it. And then how do you come about if you are playing saxophone this great? And um, what's the what's the what does it take? Does it what does it take? It take consistency. I'm not sure they are hearing you. It take consistency. You have to be consistent. It's not hard, but just know every new thing you're going to learn. We look we difficult bring, we look in the way. look difficult initially. But what? But while still on, still on it, you get used to it. That's just how it is. So how long do you rehearse when you were practicing? Ah, when you were learning? You have to be rehearsing every day. Every day. At least. At least four hours. At like least. What about hours. some of them that are going to work? Does it mean they are not um, going to learn if you go to you, you, when you go to work, you can take your saxophone to work. You what about you, working in a place you, you don't have a place? I'm already asking no, all the you, questions. You must you must not you must not to rehearse. Oh, you, you must, must not, have to blow. You must have to blow. So you can just, you can just be, be your, you can just bring bring your a, bring that bring was exercise. what I did while I was on it's, IT. Okay. Yes, while while I was doing my industrial training. I was just with this and I was in my fingering. So because then, then you just take, take one hour in the yeah, evening to, 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 actually, to actually Okay, you know, blow one of those things you were learning that time. You know, that, okay. just just play something for me. At least when I was learning. Just blow then, something. No, play just play something now. Let's see. Okay, I'm playing on key F. It's just determination. It just, you know, okay, I remember this say what a man do. A woman can do. Oh, even can do even better. better. Oh, you must play this thing more than me. No, I'm going to. I'm, no, 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 no. You cannot. You, no, let me show you that I play more than her, man. I do that. If you can play it, let me do it. Okay, okay. Do something. Do something. Let me see. Okay. expecting most of you um, leave your comment below hit that subscribe button and then join me on Tuesday by 5 thank you Versax thank you for your thank time you. thank you so much all right bye, bye.